Patient ETOH. That's affirmative. ETOH means the person's been consuming whatever amount of alcohol to where now they're in an altered state. What's going on, man? Okay, throwing up blood, man. Since this morning. You have ulcers? I don't know. What color is it? Red. Red. Patient tells me he's been throwing up blood all day. Because he is an alcoholic, he may have drank so much liquor that now he might have a stomach bleed, intestine bleed, and that really concerns us. Point to where um, the pain is. Little on my stomach all the way to the left. Like Worst pain, dude. Worst pain ever. Yeah, it's going through my back, man. Slowed up. You're having abdominal pain, and how you describe your abdominal pain, it could be something else. So we need to get you to the closest hospital, sir. We need to get this guy some fluids. We need to get an IV, like, stat. We're going to start an IV on you and give you some fluids, OK? Make you feel a little better. Is that OK? Well, that's going to help. Yeah, yeah, yep. OK, yep, I see that. You got cotton mouth there. How regular do you eat, man? Do you eat every day? Yeah, I ain't going to lie to you, man. I try to drink a beer. Do you drink water? No. You got to drink some water, man. It's too hot. That's why you're going to keep getting dehydrated. Living here in Florida in a hot, humid climate, Dehydration is just a major thing in itself. All right, we're going to get you some juicy juice. But he's not drinking water, and he's drinking beer, which further dehydrates him. I'm going the best I can, man. I'm going to military anyway, man, but I don't What branch you serve? Ranger. Ranger? Oh, snap. Well, thank you for your service. I don't know the statistics on how many veterans are suffering from being homeless and drinking their days away. Whatever's on your mind, we're here to listen and help. Yes, sir. Just gave you, you got a new badge, man. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Tell my boss behind you, OK? I mean, it seems like we do go to a lot of veterans that are alcoholics or, or drug users. It is, it is sad, because I, I tell you, from my experience in the military, I, I feel like the, the military opened up doors for me, and I got to meet so many amazing people. But then again, everyone sees things differently, and they react to things differently. I hope this starts to make you feel better, and everything works out for you. The hospital will help him find out where this blood is coming from and get fluids into him. There you go. At the very least, he's going to sleep in a nice bed tonight. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Grand <laughs> the knife. Grand the knife. No, they're not dead. I can work with them.